Hey guys, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about how I feed my fish and corals. Uh, there's various different foods out on the market. Uh, there's a bunch of different products. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys what I do and how I feed my fish and what I feed them and how I do it and what I basically do and how I'm successful with it because so far I believe using these foods I've been really successful. Um, the number one thing that I have found out is whenever you feed anything frozen, uh, you want to somewhat rinse that food. Uh, you don't want to introduce the uh, water or anything in the uh, actual packaging that can actually, uh, you know, be introduced into the tank because the uh, actual water and stuff like that in the actual frozen packaging is nutrient rich and you know anything that you add to the tank will have to be filtered out uh, through bi biological filtration chemical filtration and whatnot and so forth but uh, I just wanted to go over a few things on how I feed and what I use first I use one of the best things I think are on the market is PE mysis uh, I believe that their mysis shrimp is very, very well, very great, filled with protein. Um, the way how they actually catch the mysis, they're a freshwater species of mysis that they catch in a lake and uh, they feed upon the, the plankton at a certain time. So therefore they are gut loaded, they claim. And I believe, you know, they're, it's a great product. They've been around for many, many years. and. Uh, you get a good bang for your buck when you buy a pack like this. Um, another food I want to talk about is cyclopes. I have the frozen bar here, and uh, cyclopes is basically a red uh, form of uh, zooplankton. That it's, uh, I believe it's some way, shape, or form engineered, and uh, it is very high in vitamins and. It's a great product, I use it. Uh, I like to mix it in with my mysis when I feed. Uh, another food I go with is, I use Rogers food. Rogers reef food I believe is very, very, very good. It's used with fresh ingredients. Uh, I've actually met Roger one time at our local aquarium, uh, aquarium society meeting and he actually showed us how he makes the food, what he uses, and uh, I believe it's a great thing. The beautiful thing is with this is that it has fresh scallops, it has, I mean, so many things. It's wild caught shrimp, squid, octopus, fresh clams, mussels, scallops, lobster. Uh, and this is the reef version of it. So it actually has spirulina in it, garlic. He actually puts aloe vera in this. And I believe he claims that aloe vera is a great thing to add to your food. Um, I forgot exactly why, but uh, Roger recommends it. And uh, he uses, I believe, cyclopes in this and Celcon. Uh, I actually have Celcon and I actually dose the food. I dose Celcon into the food. Sometimes I dose it directly into the tank. But um, yeah, that's what I use as far as food. Now, um, micro foods and stuff like that, I use a product called Reef Chili. This is from Bulk Reef Supply. Um, reef chili is basically a dried form of zooplankton, uh, phytoplankton, it's got rotifers, copepods, um, a few other things here that they, uh, they actually put in here, but it's a small amount and you put it into a bottle and some water, whatever, and you leave it in there, shake it up for about 30, 40 seconds, a minute. You get, if you want to actually, you know, leave it with any uh, vitamins or any, uh, garlic, you want to soak the food or whatnot, um, you can do that. I also use this product called, uh, from New Life Spectrum, it's called High Density Color Enhancing Gel. And uh, this product actually was given to me as a sample at Magna, and I mix this in with the food at times. And this is supposedly some kind of micro food that your coral feed, feed on. And the same thing with this as well. Um, this is a this product also from New Life Spectrum called uh, encapsulated microfeeder and I believe this has uh, 
it's a powder form substance and same thing as far as like you know this high density color gel there's a difference with these i think i'm not sure 100 percent what but i know for a fact that this is a micro feeder and i think this is more for coloration uh, for the corals i'm not sure what's exactly in it but um my Dumacna was about a year ago, so I really don't recall 100% what it is. But I use them both, and uh, I mix these in as well sometimes with the uh, reef chili. But what I try to do is, is I try to feed a variety of food every day, or every other day. Um, I don't like to feed the same thing. I don't want to pack everything one shot into the uh, actual tank, because uh, in my opinion, I think that's too much food. You don't want to overdo it with your food, but you also don't want to underdo it. You want to have the right amount. But uh, another tool that I use as well is uh, I use a little strainer. I put the actual uh, mysis in here and I actually rinse it under the sink and uh, make sure I dry it afterwards with the uh, shrimp in there. Because I don't want to, like I was speaking about before, I don't want to introduce the uh, the water that this stuff is in because it's very very nutrient rich um, that's basically what I use and using all these products I've been successful and uh, I want to show you guys how I prepare the food now okay guys so we're back in my kitchen now and I wanted to show you guys how I prepare the food now uh, first usually I have like grab a little container and I put some tank water in it so I can mix my reef chili into it. Now reef chili calls for about, comes with a little spoon and on the spoon it says one scoop for every 20 gallons. So my system so I would say is a probably you know, 255 gallon but with a sump say about 60 gallons. So I put about three spoonfuls in here. And BRS, also known as Bulk Reef Supply, they claim that this food is very nutrient rich and a little goes a lot way. So, this right here, is great stuff. Put the cap on it real quick. I'm gonna shake it up just for a little bit so we can we can basically bring water back into the uh, dried up plankton. So what I then like to do is I use garlic power from Brightwell Aquatics and I like to put some garlic in the food I'll go about about 8 to 10 drops I like to do and I add this product Cellcon Cellcon has been on the market for many years and it is a aquarium food booster and it has uh, marine lipids, uh, fatty acids, it has vitamin C, vitamin B12, and I like to use it. To fortify the food, I like to put about, it says here, 50.50 50 milliliters, so it's half a milliliter. Add that. Now, Give it a quick another shake here. What I do is, so I'm going to prepare the mysis now. Pull it out, one cube. And what I like to do is, I like to cut it in half. I don't have many fish, and they're all very small. So I do about a half cube. I'll put this back. Get to my 
freezer already. And what I like to do is rinse the food. So we'll give it a quick rinse. Rinse out all that high nutrient water. comes packaged with these shrimp. Now what I like to do is I like to use the spoon that comes with the actual reef chili and I'll go ahead and slide these guys in the bottle. Same size, about something about like half a cube. And then we'll just put this stuff back in here. Put it back in the freezer. dried product so you can just leave it out on a shelf somewhere. I usually keep all my food together. And then we'll go ahead and we'll mix this up. Give it a good shake. And I like to let it sit for a good 10 minutes or so, 5 minutes. I mean if you're in a hurry, just go ahead and dump it in. But, you know, I like to give myself but um, another thing I want to talk about is the uh, wife, ex wife acceptance factor. I have my own little cutting tray that's meant for my fish food, which my wife was nice enough to get me, and she put my name on it, so <laughs> she knows it's mine, so we don't cook with it. And like I said, give it a quick shake again. You want all this stuff to mix up really well so that the food gets a chance to absorb the garlic and the cell con and the actual you know, the actual cyclopes and the shrimp. Okay guys, so we are back here at my fish tank and I'm gonna show you guys how I feed my tank. Uh, first I like to turn off my pumps. I believe that you know it's a good idea to turn off your pumps, your main pump as it is, to prevent any of the food from going into your filtration. Um, I believe that it's a smart thing to do, so that way you're adding food to the tank and it gives a chance for, to feed your corals and your fish. I believe that if you keep it on, it's just going to go straight to the filter socks, straight to the floss, your mechanical filtration, skimmed out. I like to shut everything off. So I'm going to do that right now, and I'm going to shut off my main pump. I'm going to shut off the skimmer as well. And any other power head that I have on, other than my J-Bow. The actual j bow pump that I have, the WP-10, it has a feed mode. And the feed mode basically puts the pump into a shutoff for, I think, uh, I don't know if it's five or 10 minutes, but uh, it's definitely a plus. So there we go, 10 feed mode. We got 
our bottle of food that we made and let me shake it up again. These guys already know <laughs> that the food is coming. I mean, they're there, they're ready. So what you can do is, is you can spot feed your corals. I mean, there's some corals that I like to spot feed. Melipora, Pocillopora, Medigitatas. my green planet, I'm sorry, my red planet. Feed some of the pallies here. These guys always devour everything. They're very, very 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 active you see the fish <laughs> There's a shrimp going crazy. <laughs> he wants to get on all the action. So I don't necessarily spot feed every coral, but I'm just doing this to give you guys a demonstration of how I do it. So you can see the fish are all out. They're all swimming for it. They're all swimming around looking to get some food. So that's one way to feed them. I'm gonna turn on this pump now. Cause this is another way that I do it. The other way you can feed this food is you can just dump it in there. So what I want to do is, is I want to feed this, leave it in the tank, and let it circulate for, I would say a good, you can do 30 minutes, you can do an hour. I like to leave the pump off and I like to let the food have a chance, you know, get in the tank, circle around, give the fish a chance to eat, give the corals a chance to eat. Because in nature, these corals aren't spot, these corals aren't spot fed. You know, in nature, it's up to them to reach out with their tentacles and feed. And hence another reason why I'm feeding at this time. Uh, my actinics are on, and it's the later portion in the actual light cycle. I think I have about two hours left in my light cycle. So in two hours, the lights are going to shut off. Um, I think it's a great idea and a smart idea to feed later in the light cycle, if not at night, because that's when usually your corals tend to spread their tentacles out. They, they, they extend their feeder tentacles, sweeper tentacles, and that's when they want to eat. So that's one thing that I like to do is I like to feed later at night. Sometimes at night when I dose my liquids, like I dose uh, liquid phytoplankton or liquid uh, zooplankton, I'll actually throw it in there with the power heads on and everything, but I'll shut off the skimmer so it doesn't skim it out. And I'll let, let it run overnight. Uh, while the lights are off. In my opinion, it's a great idea, you know, 
it's basically how nature at nature at night the corals pull out their you know their tentacles and they they're feeding and you know corals are living organisms just like you know fish they uh they don't necessarily depend on food 100 percent, but they will accept food if you offer it um most corals you know they are photosynthetic and through their zooxanthellae they will create the sugars and create the food that they need which is fine and it works but I like to feed in my opinion feeding is a great thing as long as you do it controlled you do it the, the right way and you have a good filtration system that will take out the food if it's you know anything that's not consumed so my filtration is a filter sock and I have a reef octopus skimmer rated for about 110 gallons which is double what my system is and I believe that changing out the sock every four to five days will remove any nutrients before they break down and I have a ton of socks so I mean I, I really have six socks but you know six socks will last me more than a month and I will wash them you know accordingly when they are dirty but I just swap it out every four to five days that way I remove anything in my tank that gets into the sock before it has a chance to break down so here's my video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it helps you out um, this is how I feed my reef and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys learned something uh, I'd like to share my knowledge with you guys, and uh, please uh, subscribe, comment, like the video as well, and I will continue doing this, guys, and uh, I appreciate it very much for you guys watching my video, so till next time, take it easy, guys.